Hello and welcome to another how-to video. Yes, it's Dietech at DBS. Thank you for everybody that watches, likes and subscribes to our channel. Are you going to be one of the only ones that don't subscribe? No, you're not. Of course you are. Hit that like and subscribe button and be notified of all our weekly content. Why wouldn't you? It's absolutely fantastic, even if I do say so myself. So today we're in the training room. We're going to do something a little bit different. You know DVS are very well known for our CCTV, access control, intruder, fire. Also, we are in the audio space. One of those fantastic brands that we work with via the Midwich Group now is Bose Professional. So everybody knows the Bose brand. It's synonymous with quality, uh, sound, ease of use, the, the, the product, how it sounds. You all know Bose. This is the Bose Professional range. And they've introduced something really quite fantastic to the marketplace. And we're super proud to be able to bring this to you. If you haven't seen it already, do get in contact with one of your friendly DVS staff and they will tell you more about it or continue to watch this content and you will know all about it by the end of it. As you can see on our lovely backdrop behind us, we do have the Bose kits. I have one of these Bose kits in front of me. I'm going to take it out and go through it. It's simply a all-in-one audio kit. Now, we do four kits. So we do the six speaker in ceiling with white grills. We do the four speaker in ceiling with white grills. We do the four speaker black, IP rated, wall mount, and we do the ones in white. So they're the white ones, they're the black ones, and they all come with the amplifier mixer. So in the pack itself, it's designed to be an all-in-one kit. All you need to do is, sorry, my way. All you need to provide is the cable and one of our offerings through DVS is our speaker cable through our lovely partner Secureflex. This is two core audio speaker, speak, audio speaker cable. So actually it's four core but we do two core and four core with different sizes and different colours depending on your needs. I've chosen this lovely pink colour. Um, so I know in my building here, all our pink cable is for our audio needs. Different colours, different cores, different sizes, etc. I've got a simple cable to link my iPhone to the amplifier so we can put some music on there. Royalty free, of course, YouTube. And in the box itself, you get the power supply, which is for the amplifier. Let's keep this nice and clean. You get the amp itself. Really well packaged, so apologies about this. So, you get the amp itself. As you know, with Bose, this is a super cost effective all in one kit. But as you know, with Bose, the quality is everything, even the packaging is fantastic. So, it does come with the manuals. Um, I'll treat, you, treat that with a little bit more respect than normal. We have the amplifier here. God, it weighs that's about seven kilograms, if not more. We have the plugs, make sure you don't throw them away, they're critically important. And then inside this is another power cable, but we've actually got the power cable already. That's an EU one, actually put in the box for us. What you can see with this amplifier, oh come on, this is the free space IZA 190 Hertz Integrated Zone Amplifier. So let me bring this round to you. So then we have four speakers. Let me get everything out and then you can see in better detail what this looks like. And then the free space amplifiers. You can see that. You can see this is what the speaker looks like. They're quite small, so it comes with the covers. They can be spray painted. They are white, so we do a black cover. If you want to change them, take the grill off, spray whatever colour you want to blend in with your surroundings. Same with the brackets, they are powder coated. They are um, the the in ceiling ones are obviously internal. The external ones do have an IP rating. They do come powder coated white, um, so you would need to spray them as well. But very simply, they come with the external enclosure for the cable. You can see here, two per box. I can't wait to get this powered up. 
Each one's got its own connector box. The packaging itself is just absolutely fantastic. I know it sounds really strange, but it is really, really good. So we're going to open up this one as well. So two speakers per box. And again, comes with a manual, etc. So I'll put that by there. I'll change that over in a minute. What I'm going to do is come around here. I'm going to show you in more detail the speakers. So we have the speakers, wall mount bracket. So technically, depending on your installation, wall mount bracket, you can fit it that way, this directional, or you can fit it that way. Either way, that way or that way. As you can see, it's got a dial for the speaker setting, all in the manual there. Very, very well built. That's, I'm actually surprised how well built this is. And you will see inside this box here, the cable box. You will see connector in there, and then that cover simply goes on there like this. And then you put the screws in it. So cable comes in, connects in there, and you put the screws in it to keep this rubber waterproof cap on it. Very, very simple installation. And you can see, that's the cable block there. So you see Posneg. So you've got the 70 or 100 volt line. So again, this cable is 100 volt line rated, this speaker cable. So 70 or 100 volt line, or you've got the 60 no in, 60 no out, and then common and 70 volt, 70. So we've got in and out effectively. So 70 to 100 volt line in and out to pair the speakers, or you can have the 16 ohm in and out. Really, really good. So to, to do, uh, it is a 16 watt speaker, so max one, two, four, eight, or 16 watts selectable via the tap on the front. That's loud enough, especially if you've got four of them. This is really designed, so we are gonna wire this up and show you how good this actually is. Let me just kick my own uh, laptop there. So what this allows you to do is have everything in one box and it allows you to, in, if you're like fitting like pubs, event spaces, shared spaces, offices, high-end residentials, you know, community halls, anywhere where you need audio, it's all in one kit, apart from the cable and your installation time, of course, it allows you to put a professional audio system in there, a very good quality that will last a long time, it'll give you very good audio output, Bose synonymous with audio output, and it will allow you to then put this system as an all-in-one to your customer. Like I said, if you're in that event space, shared offices, you know, hotels, there's so many different applications that could go in, but you do get the idea. Pubs, um, hospitality, etc. Cost-effective, definitely pubs. So this amplifier, nice weight to it. It isn't rack mount, but it does allow you to fit this onto the desk. I'm going to bring this round. Apologies, my back's not great again. But from the amplifier itself, you can see oh, that does, it's very well made, that guys. You can see on the front, you've got treble and bass, master volume, auxiliary input. You've got the mic line input, so you, put a mic, you could put a microphone in there or a line input, the on off switch, and then you've got your gain there or your auxiliary input there. And you can switch between input A and input B and then adjust the volume. So it's very simple, but again, you've got two audio sources. So you can have background music on the auxiliary, auxiliary input and then microphone in there. So when you speak over your microphone, it will cut over or cut out the background music on the auxiliary input and then allow you to then speak live. So if you needed to make an announcement, maybe not so much in a pub, but if you're in an event space and you need to make an announcement, using a simple microphone input, it doesn't come with a microphone, very simply available, plug it in there and it allows you to do that override. On the back, you can see you've got your power, you've got your 70 volt or 100 volt line wire in here for your output. You've got your remote cable, equalizer, output trim, mute, and then you've got your auxiliary output there, some dip switches, pager input, gain and gain, and then input A and e output, input A and input B as well. So it's a very, very comprehensive little amplifier. Really excited to get this up. 
So, let's start powering this up. I'm gonna cable this up, get everything out. You don't wanna see that. I'm gonna cable everything up now. Get it connected on this desktop with this cable and then we're gonna come back. Okay, so we finished wiring up the products. We've got our four speakers wired up here with our cable. Our amplifier is here, connected up to the mains, powered on, it's very simple wiring. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the phone off the stand and I'm gonna show you intimately the connection so you understand the product from a POV perspective because it's quite important that you understand it. And then all I've done then is linked a cable into the input RCAs. Again, there is two inputs and I'm gonna plug this into my laptop and we are gonna play through our DVS YouTube. When you go to our YouTube channel, hit that like and subscribe button like I showed you earlier. Through the power of YouTube, we are going to play some royalty-free music so you can understand the quality of the system. It will be difficult to show you through the power of the phone, but we are going to do it nevertheless. So, our cable's ready, our microphones, microphones, our speakers are ready. Let me just take you off this stand here, guys, and give you a, a sort of POV overview perspective. So, our amplifier's here. So, as you can see, we've got treble, the bass adjustment, the master volume is here. Input A and input B. Auxiliary input, so we can do that through the front. So I could connect this lead to the front here and then connect a phone, a third party like uh, Apple TV, for instance, or a media player. You could also get a Bluetooth receiver. One thing this doesn't have, which could be handy for future development, is a Bluetooth receiver to be able to stream from your smartphone or tablet music directly through here so in the event space that would be really handy most people do have the cables these multi cables like you've got here which allow you to connect any device to stream music but you could put a wireless uh, bluetooth receiver into there which would then make this a bluetooth hub you've got the microphone line input like i said you can switch between input a and input b so you could have the sport on one channel and music on the next channel depending on what your event space is like or where the system is installed Microphone input, so then you can do a push to talk, which will override the music. You've got gain, and then power on and off. Very standard functionality. Now, if we come round the back, you can see, without knocking everything off. Apologies here, guys. So, simple, input A is there. So we've got input A connected on the RCA, and you've got input B there, so straight RCA connections. You've got gain control for both of them. You've also got dip switches by here, like I can show you. So you can see there, you can adjust the, the bypass, the stereo or mono, the auxiliary input functions. You've also got auxiliary out here. You've got the, if I tilt this, it's hard to see there. So you've got push to talk functions. You've also got the connection for, if I take this out. So you've got the remote connection there. Uh, you've got the equalizer, you've got output trim, and you've got the 100 volt line output. As you can see on the side, you can connect it to 70 volt or 100 volt. And we've connected it to the 100 volt line speaker output. Very straightforward. And they are just pushing and wire, so you just need a screwdriver. And you can see I've already somehow managed to pull that black connector out. Okay, so very good quality amp. And then from the speaker cable, so we have a four core speaker cable. Um, and again, we go out from the amp and we've got them in a, uh, it's basically all in series. So it comes into this one, in and out to this one, in and out to this one. And then this one is the last on the line using a hundred volt line setup. And you can see I've left the grill off here. So if you can see, there's the grill function. So it comes with a paintable grill. It is white and it does have the bows, the fantastic, synonymous symbol of Bose to show the quality. These grills are removable and they are external. So it's got the bracket on there. So the bracket can be tightened and adjusted on here. So you can fit it that way or that way, depending or seal it mount and then adjust as needed from this multiple adjustable bracket, which fits on there. Really simple design, but extremely good quality. You can see here, you can adjust the tap on here. So they're set by default to 100 volt line or 70 volt line if you want to choose that. And they're set to 16 watt. But you can adjust the tap in down or you can see there is an adjustment to make it 16 ohm should you require. Okay, 
So very simple to make that a 16 ohm speaker if that's how you want to wire it. So four speakers in the kit, all white, all with the bracketry, all fitted. So this is as it would come as a kit. You do have to provide the cable and you do have to install it. You can see here how the cap goes on. So the cable goes through the rubber sort of uh, housing, push on connector. So you have an in and an out there. So in there you have uh, in, in and then out on a 100 volt line. So they just go in series with each other. So it goes in and out as necessary. Rubber cap to make it nice and waterproof and weather resistant. And then this is the last one on the line. This grill is very simple to fit. You can see on the some locator lugs on there and you just simply slide that on. So you put it on there and you slide it along until it clicks in. It's as simple as that. You have to do it two-handed. That's why I can't quite do it. Let's see if I can do it like this. There we go. And it just clicks in. You heard the click there and it's fitted. This is all ready to go very simple to do so what we are going to do now is using the power of youtube don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we're going to put some music royalty free music as i should say uh, mr youtube we're going to put that on and hopefully you can see some of the uh, audio capability i'm so impressed with this kit honestly the kit is absolutely fantastic really good quality really cost effective really simple to use and interact with you cannot go wrong for the money and the Bose name. Who who doesn't know or want Bose in their property? Okay, let's go transfer you over. Stay tuned. Okay, so a very simple operation. We've taken the um, output from my laptop, so the 3.5mm standard plug into the input on the rear of the unit, like we explained. We're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. I know I keep going on about it. And we've got some royalty-free music, which I Googled. Now we're going to play it and hopefully you can see how good the quality of this is. We're going to space these out a little bit. I know it's very hard to tell through the power of the phone, but we're going to give it a go anyway. So let's go. So, oops, sorry. This is now coming from the laptop and obviously you've got the standard controls on here. You can adjust the base of the travel. here at DVS introducing the all-in-one audio pack pro from Bose we're really excited to be able to offer this to you we believe it's an absolutely fantastic product really cost-effective everything is in one box you just supply the cable and the labor and you get this fantastic high quality system that delivers high quality audio on 100 volt line or 16 ohm 16 ohm other than that hope you enjoy it leave comments below we'll see you next week on that how-to video but don't forget contact your DVS sales rep for more information these are in stock and ready to go now Bye.